is up guys welcome to another video uh, today's video gonna go out and check out a Burmese restaurant that's um, recently opened in London called La Pet so they had a um, place in Shoreditch a while ago and they've recently opened one in Covent Garden area I visited many many years ago to try their tea leaf salad which was absolutely incredible but they've also um, got some other delicious looking things on their menu which I'm pretty excited to try Gonna head down there um, and check out their menu and see um, what I fancy and take up from there. St. Martin's Courtyard just off Covent Garden and um, really gorgeous area there's quite a few new restaurants that have opened up here and it looks gorgeous really really nice day too and um, the menu is incredible they've got so many delicious things but I'm gonna go for what I thought I was gonna go for which is the coconut noodles with chicken also known as Oh No Quack Sway hopefully I haven't absolutely butchered the pronunciation of that um, but essentially it's similar to a Thai dish that I got absolutely obsessed with recently um, known as cow soy and this is sort of the Burmese version. So the Thai version is um, from northern Thailand so sort of Chiang Mai area sometimes known as Chiang Mai noodle soup sort of that area where it's close to Myanmar and Burma so they share some similar kind of culinary dishes so this is um, the Burmese version and essentially what it is is it's a really creamy kind of coconut milk spiced based soup is then served with delicious noodles um, and then this one has some chicken in but you can get obviously different kind of meats in there um, and then it's also finished with kind of like crispy noodles on top um, and then this one's got a boiled egg on as well um, it's quite difficult to find the Thai version in London I've only managed to find it in one place called Eater Roy um, which I mentioned on my Instagram quite a while ago um, so super excited to see how the La Pet one compares was very tempted to get a um, tea leaf salad as well because I loved it so much but um, yeah I'm just gonna go for the noodles and see how we go. Noodle soup has uh, just arrived looks absolutely delicious you can see how creamy that base looks and it's got um, this gorgeous crispy noodle wonton wrapper on top as well also comes with garnishes of um, coriander and some lime juice to sprinkle on so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw some extra on there and give it a, a squeeze of lime egg looks um, perfectly cooked super jammy which is uh, just how you want it and super big generous chunks of chicken in there as well gonna see how it compares to the others that I've had previously and gonna dig in with a big slip of chicken first mm. that's good very creamy um, I'm picking up kind of more lemongrass from this one than I did from the one that I had from Itaroy. I found the Itaroy one a little bit spicier. This one feels a bit more fragrant, more kind of acidic notes to it and that sort of floral, sort of herb nature of lemongrass. Nice bit of um, crispy wonton as well that's been fried as like a big piece as opposed to little strips. gives it a lovely crunch on top. You can see um, the lovely jammy egg there, perfectly cooked yolk which looks like perfection. So excited to dig in and give that a go. Gonna um, give the egg a go now. Mm. Egg is uh, perfectly cooked. Um, yolk not too runny, but not too overdone as well. Slightly fudgy on the inside, which is great. And loads of yummy egg noodles in there. You 
get um, loads of decent chunks of chicken in there too as well. It feels like it's probably thigh because it feels a bit fattier as opposed to breast, which is great. This is just what you want in there to add some heartiness. Loads of uh, noodly goodness in there. Um, loads of shallots and spring onions and stuff lurking in there too. Um, yeah, it's just definitely a lot creamy. I think I could handle a bit more spice. Yeah, if I had a bit more of like a chili kick, the Ita Roy one I had was so, so good. It had a really, really good depth of flavor from the spice. It felt like it had been simmered for ages. It was really rich. This one's creamier, a bit lighter in terms of flavor. I love um, how much chicken you get in here though. It's certainly not scrimping. I'd love to try one actually in kind of Myanmar or um, Thailand to see how it compares. And imagine it just packs so much more flavor and kind of really authentic going to try it in kind of its country of origin as well. I had this originally um, in the winter and it's a perfect kind of comforting dish when you just want to snuggle up and uh, kind of stay warm but equally as good on a spring day just such kind of like soul food it just makes you feel good inside yeah the noodles in this one are a little bit thinner as well versus the Isha Roy one um, they just feel um, in my mind not as good they've still got a nice bite and stuff to them they're just not as satisfying as the Isha Roy one But I do love the fact um, that this one came with an egg, which is always added bonus for me. And I love it when you get like a ramen or a laksa and an egg comes on top. It's that added little extra treat. I think I'm gonna call it a day on um, the soup now and uh, get the bill and then head off. Um, it was good. It wasn't like oh my god amazing i think the isha roy one that i've had i'd probably still rate over this purely for like depth of flavor of the spices this one was milder in terms of its overall execution it was a bit creamier it didn't pack that same spice punch still good though lots of chicken pretty comforting dish and the addition of the egg was a um nice added bonus All finished up at La Pet now. Um, it was a nice comforting lunch, but like I said, Ita Roy for me is still the best kind of cow soy um, rendition that I've tried in London. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.